If you don't want the fuss of making your own weed killer, watch our Roundup vs. Generic Weed Killers video. Welcome to Bryogen.xyz. Enjoy the video! Today we're starting an experiment to make our own homemade weed killer. In the past, we have used Roundup, which became rather expensive, then switched to a generic weed killer that took too long to show results. In the end, weeds begin to rebound in about six weeks after treatment with either product. So we're testing a simple solution made from vinegar, dishwashing soap, and optionally, salt. We're documenting our experiment in two or three parts as we go so others may benefit. At the end of the video, we will give cost comparisons of making homemade weed killer. First, we set the mower to a lower cut level and mowed the weeds short so the mixture would be sure to thoroughly coat all of every weed. We're ready to make our mixture. Use distilled white vinegar and add one teaspoon of dishwashing liquid. We later changed this to a half teaspoon because of too many suds. We're using Dawn. Add this to one gallon of vinegar. Then gently mix the vinegar and soap, being careful not to make too many suds. The reason for adding soap to the vinegar is that it breaks the surface tension of the liquid so the acidy vinegar is easily absorbed by the weeds. We'll keep a little mixture in a spray bottle so we can do some spot spraying later. Then pour the vinegar and soap mixture into a sprayer. For our test, we're applying the mixture to a strip of weeds running down the middle of the driveway and it's two o'clock in the afternoon. We'll soak the weeds with the magic mixture. We'll keep mixing and applying the mixture to the remainder of this test area and also spraying the area completely so that all the tiny weeds that are starting receive a dose. We're done applying the mixture to this test area. It took three and a half gallons of vinegar for a total cost of $7.74. Three and a half gallons of Roundup mixture would have cost $21.63. We'll spray some on the crabgrass and weeds that are coming up in the rock garden by the house and see how well the mixture works on them. Now we're going to do another test area, which is in three sections of the driveway. With these areas, we are going to use a 50-50 mix rather than full strength. We are mixing a half gallon of water with a half gallon of vinegar. We're using a three gallon sprayer, so we will add one and a half gallons of water and one gallon of vinegar to the sprayer and then mix the soap in a 64 ounce beaker by filling it two thirds of the way with vinegar and adding one teaspoon of soap, a little less per gallon of vinegar than the prior test. Stirring it gently works better than shaking the bottle. It really cuts down on the suds. Then fill the beaker to the 64 ounce level and stir a little more. We pour this soap mix in the sprayer. We now have a total of three gallons of mixture. We'll soak the weeds with a 50-50 mixture. We're done applying the mixture to this test area. It took three and a half gallons of vinegar for a total cost of $7.74 and three and a half gallons of water. It would have taken seven gallons of Roundup mixture and would have cost $43.26. It's been two hours since we applied the full strength mixture to the middle strip of weeds in the driveway. It looks like the weeds that are in the shaded area are fading a little but are still green. But the weeds that had full sun have a noticeable browner appearance indicating they are dying. It's been 24 hours since we applied the full strength mixture to the middle strip of weeds in the driveway. It looks like the weeds that had full sun are browning nicely, but the ones that are in the shaded area are browning at a slower rate. It's been 24 hours since we applied the 50-50 strength mixture to the other three test areas of the driveway. There's a small sign of the weeds fading to a lighter green. We're going to add salt to half of the area where we applied the full strength vinegar mixture. Supposedly, if enough salt is in the soil, it will prevent weeds from growing. We don't want to use salt in our tank sprayer because salt is corrosive, and we don't want to wait for multiple applications to be applied for the salt to build up and start working. So we're going to apply a mega dose. Our drive is a 69 foot section, and we have divided it into three sections. We're going to spread three different types of salt to see if any of them might leave any unsightly residue. The first one we are testing is rock salt. The cost is $8.97 for 50 pounds. It comes in small pieces, so it will melt quicker to penetrate the soil. The second one is salt crystals, which is used in water softeners. The cost is $4.98 for 40 pounds. It looks similar to the rock salt, but is in larger chunks. The third one is salt pellets, which is used in water softeners. The cost is $5.21 for 40 pounds. They are much larger chunks, similar to the size of gravel. This is the rock salt, which we spread liberally. It took one and a half gallons of salt.
This is the salt crystal section. It took two and a half gallons of salt. And this is the pellet section. It took two gallons of salt. We'll give the salt an initial watering using the garden hose. This will help set the salt in place so it doesn't wash away too quickly if there is a quick hard rain. We want it to soak into the soil, not wash off the driveway. The salt isn't very attractive at this time, but after a rain or two, the salt will dissolve and soak into the soil, which is supposed to help prevent the weeds from growing back. We will see. So now we wait until the end of summer to see how the experiment went, when we'll make an update video to let you know how the experiment worked out and to see how the weeds stayed away. You can subscribe and be sure to ring the bell so you are notified when part two is available if you want to keep up with the results of our homemade weed killer experiment. Thanks for watching.